Welcome to this quick start guide for Pastiche 2. I'm Val from Motion Boutique and we are going to talk about Step and Elastic, the two new special interpolation for Pastiche. I have the first second that is empty, then the letter A, the letter B, and after it's empty. And this source is going to my main composition where I'm going to create some objects. I'm going to create a circle using shape layers. Don't forget to center your anchor point. Now let's duplicate this uh, object and I'm going to use the duplicate multiple times, which is part of our mobile utils. You can do this by hand, but it's quite repetitive. Okay, so let's make 200 copies of this layer. And now let's apply pastiche. So let's move the CTI to my first letter and let's hit create. And I have my first collage. Let's set Newton for the animation. We are going to change the frames to under to every X frames and set the interval to 30. Why 30? Because my composition is set to 30 FPS and because I have a change in my source every second. Let's set the temporal interpolation to is in and out and hit create. And here is my animation. Let's apply the color of my source to my object. I'm going to set fill color to source color and hit create again. And here is the animation with the color. But let me change the behavior when the source is empty. I'm going to undo this and change the color option and set outside the source to do not change color. And you will see that my colors won't change when the source is empty. So now let's change the spatial interpolation to step. And let's hit create again. So you can see that our objects are only moving vertically and horizontally. Pretty cool, isn't it? So now let's see the elastic interpolation. I've changed the source a little bit. Now you can see that A and B uh, doesn't have the same position. I'm going to reuse the settings of a pastiche that uh, we have used for step. And I'm just going to change the special interpolation to elastic. And you can see that I have now new options. Let's hit create one more time. Let's hide the source. And you can see that I have that animation and my objects are moving with some springness. Springness that I can change here and create this new animation. And you can see that objects have now more tension. You can also set the elastic behavior to in and out. And for cooler results, you can also add some offset. Thanks for watching.